Hello everyone, Deanna here. So this week I read Written on the Body by Jeanette Winterson. I read it for my Women, Gender, and Sexuality Studies class. So um, let's get started. To begin with, I really liked the book. I really enjoyed it. It explores a lot of themes that were very interesting to me and very relevant to uh, women's studies. The interesting thing about the book is that throughout the novel, you actually don't know the gender of the narrator. So the narrator's gender is very ambiguous throughout the story and allows you to kind of put yourself into his or her role. And part of the interesting thing is that throughout the book, all you're a lot of what you're trying to do is figure out what gender the main character is, which actually is part of the point of Jeanette Winterson writing the book, is that you try to gender people so you can figure them out and try to pinpoint different stereotypes. Oh, I expect the main character to do this because they're a woman. Or I expect the main character to do this because they're a man. And the book's perspective differs on whether or not you think of the narrator as a man or a woman. If the narrator were a man, then all of the adultery and affairs that the narrator um, goes through is all just part of like this man is um, just really interested in sex and really interested in um, like not just finding the right woman for him but just having all of these affairs and all of these women and he's just a man being a man. But if you think of it from a woman's point of view you see oh she's um she's in love and she loves this person and even though um louise is married she um still wants to be with her and it's this great like forbidden love as you go through this book and look at the ambiguousness of the narrator's gender you kind of see the ways that people judge the actions of others based on gender stereotypes and based on race and different things, whereas we get none of the physicality of this narrator. We also don't get much of him or her describing Louise in any personality-wise. So we always see um, his or her thoughts on Louise's body and how it's beautiful. It's very sexualized. We also see how love can be different and how love doesn't have to be the deep emotional and physical connection that everyone wants it to be and a lot of times it is that and that's healthy but there are also different kinds of love that can also be healthy depending on the person and so the narrator is obviously very connected to people physically um, he or she doesn't seem to form emotional connections to much of anyone the narrator is much of a loner more of a uh, introverted type of person and finds great comfort in physical connection and in physical beings. This translates a lot to uh, the narrator's connection with Louise and how a lot of times Louise is only described physically rather than personality-wise. The only time that we get a personality is when she says that she has a great mind. So as the narrator is trying to um, delve into medical textbooks and figure out Louise and figure out Louise's body as Louise isn't there, she or he um, is really trying to connect more intimately with Louise despite the fact that she isn't there. One of the things that I really liked about this book is the theme that comes from the title written on the body, that a lot of your experiences are written on your body and just the way that you carry yourself and the way that um, you use or not use different muscles to, um, in your daily life, can tell a lot about what you've been through and what um, your experiences are and what type of person you are. The book also challenges certain, like I've said before, certain stereotypes about love, but it also goes against a lot of different cliches. And throughout the book, you even see Louise saying, like, we don't want to be a stereotype. Like, stereotypes um, are kind of the death of love. And there's a lot in the book that goes through and she uses different metaphors to describe 
love and uses the body to describe love. There's so much of this book that I can't fit in one video review, so definitely pick it up and read it and tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you like this book or if you are going to read this book. Subscribe to our channel. We make new videos every week, or at least we try. And Erin, I will see you next week.